Hey guys, it's me, Cyrus, back with another Minecraft create video. And today, I've start. I'm gonna start things off a little bit different. I've actually made a, uh, a bulletin board of things I need to complete. So first, we have the house, and I'm not gonna work on the house today. That's gonna be some other time. We have the gold farm, which I mean, it, it is complete, but I need to make the building complete, or like I need to fi finish the building because right now the back's kind of empty. We have the storage system warehouse, and that's what I'm going to be working on today. It's over there. If you missed the last live stream, we worked on the storage system. I'll go over how that works in a, in a bit after I explain this. We have the train yard, which is probably going to be a bit later because I want to get these things done first. The shadow steel lab, that's going to be after the warehouse today. And then we have more buildings, which, you know, well, we're going to make this place a little bit more dense because, you know, if it's uh, industrial, then it's probably going to be, there's going to it's probably gonna be pretty dense with factories. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So moving over to my storage system, ignore those people over there. They're not important. We have this a, the singular conveyor belt going down through all these brass funnels, or fun, not funnels, tunnels. And each of these funnels have a specific item that's being sorted. And usually these items are gonna be crafted over there, or no, from over there in my factories, because uh, I don't want to be, oh actually no, I don't have like a, a system where I can just collect all my items in one place. So they're all going to be in these chests right here. And then through this back, or in this back right here, this conveyor belt, this is going to transfer to a separate, or no, this is going to move on to a different belt. And those are going to sort out more specific items. So yeah, and also I'm going to have an, a warehouse aesthetic suggested by Little Blue Blob because I think that, that sounds pretty good. That was a good suggestion. Anyways, let me quickly get to uh, gathering the materials to work on this. So being the wise guy I am, I thought I knew what a warehouse was, but apparently I didn't. <laughs> so I'm like, oh yeah, I need a, I obviously needed a, what's it called? A reference photo, right? So then I started looking at different uh, pictures of warehouses and I found out, wait a second, a warehouse is literally just a giant box. <laughs> so I made a couple of changes. I uh, dug out a lot of, or I dug out more of this area so that I can make room for a lot of like different shelves and each of them are gonna have some type of container inside, probably um, instead of chest, I'm gonna put crates. And I'm gonna make this part open as well. Maybe like uh, supported by something, but this is gonna be all, this is gonna be open. And then I'm gonna have like a conveyor belt right here. Maybe all of them leading up to one central point where you can pick up all the items. And then over here, like this a wall over here, a call system. So like, if you want this item, then you can click it there. Or like um, click it here, control panel and it'll just move it from here. So that's something like that. What I'm gonna do for the floor is it's gonna make it like a mixture of weathered limestone and uh, polished weathered limestone. Because I don't want it, I'm not gonna make it like a modern warehouse where all of it's kind of like a concrete color. I'm not gonna do concrete just yet. Maybe this is gonna be my steampunk area. And then sometime in the future, I'll make a more futuristic site or modern. Like for example, maybe all the way over there in that small forest. I'm going to be using concrete buildings, gigantic skyscrapers and whatnot. So yeah, I think that'll be what I'm going to, that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to start to fill in the, or fill in the floors and then do this kind of stuff. Oh yeah, by the way, I just, I, I messed up this a long time ago, but there, very long time ago, I forget who, but in the comments, someone asked if they could, or if the sheep was named, it's not. And I'm going to name it Larry. They, or they wanted it, they wanted the name of it to be Larry, so. That's Larry for you. So he'll say hello to Larry. I'm debating on whether or not to get the block zapper right now. Although that would probably break the code, my moral code of uh, using refined radiance, which is probably not a good thing because for, to make the block zapper, you need refined radiance. And to do that, you do, you have to get the chromatic compound surrounded with like a crap ton of light and it'll just fill it up until, you know, it becomes one of those. So probably not the block zapper. I'll just use, use do it by hand. So this will probably take a lot more time, but after I make the shadow steel thing, I'm gonna do that. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna break my demoral code just once and get the refined radiance, okay? I'm very sorry, but it just has to be. <gasps> I did it. <laughs> Wait a second. I don't know how you work this thing. I figured it out. I solved the puzzle. So uh, I added this, uh, Okay, so when I I needed this amplifier, right? So I added a refined radiance and a brass ingot and that allows me to do things like this Now I, there's settings in here where you can change the amount of uh, or like the uh, percentage of order 
the amount of times it will uh, appear, the block will appear. So I, all right, I set it to 50%. So now each time I place this, there's a chance of it, or there's a 50% chance of it spawning in that block, or it being placed onto that block. So this is a time lapse chat. Uh, this is my first. I think this is my first time doing something like this. But um, so this week I won't be live streaming, but next week I will be. And next week I won't be uploading, but you know by the time you're watching this, I've already uploaded the video. So what's going on is that I have a very important test next week that I have to study for, and also I have some other things next week as well, like violin, federation, and some type of competition. It ends Tuesday. But I also have something on Saturday, which I can just practice beforehand, so it's not the bad. It's not the worst. But yeah. Um. Other than that, I won't. That's all I have to say. So this episode is also really janky because of random schedules, and you'll see at the, near the end of the video, I'll explain that. But I'm running short on time, so I'll see you guys later. I finished the flooring. I think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And now. I'm thinking I should start work on the walls, and for that, I think I'm gonna go with uh, limestone actually. Wait, hold up, do I wanna go with limestone? I need to think about this very uh, carefully because I don't want to make it look as if it's like, or I, I don't wanna make it look bad, all right? Usually with warehouses, I think what they usually do is they have these bottom areas kinda like the floor color, but then they change it to uh, like a whitish, maybe. So like for example for mine, the roof would probably be most likely a uh, limestone. But I think I'm gonna have a little bit of the flooring coming up, or like the uh, limestone. And then I'm gonna start work on the limestone up here, or the weathered limestone kind of down here, and then the normal limestone up there. And in the outside, um, I don't. I need to make it somewhat uniform. Uh, I need to make it a uniform color, because normal warehouses are yeah they're bricks or they're like just a giant box on the ground and they usually don't have too much color but they're they're made of concrete so i'm not too sure exactly what color i should do but i'm gonna start with the weathered limestone right now so i'll see you guys at soon it's the next day i didn't record because it was late at night and i just wanted to sleep but i've finished up the roof kind of so this is kind of this is what the warehouse sort of looks like right now I can probably replace these blocks down here because, to be honest here, it doesn't. I mean, like I think the lines are too strong. Maybe I want it to be more like polished or uh, more like the polished anisite, so that it's the lines there, but like it's not gonna be as present, you know. But moving on from that, I'm gonna start. I, I actually no, okay. I'm gonna do the interior, so I'm gonna kind of extend the chest down a little bit and then start the conveyor belts. I think that would be fun. All right, let's get that started right now. Change of plans. <laughs> I'm not change of plans, but like, I need, I'm, I'm gonna change something about this. So I'm gonna get rid of these bottom, this bottom row because if I would put a funnel underneath it, then it will be, the conveyor belt will be underneath the ground or like in, or was it? It'll be inside the ground. So I wouldn't want that. So I'm just gonna put it like one, you delete this row. And then put it all there. So I'll get my conveyor belts and I'll be straight back. So I need to find an easier way to... Oh! Let me put you out of your mid three. So I need to figure out an easier way to make this more efficient. Because right now, I, what I've been doing is I've been using gearboxes. And that's probably not the best idea. Oh! Um, I got an idea. So if I dig down here... Set up some type of, or in case chain drive, right? Do this, do that, and then this. No, no, no. You can twist it like this. No, stop. This way. There we go. No, I need to work on all this other part or all the other storage sections, because currently we do not have any sec or any storage for are more specified items or the special items so let's say we wanted to sort out i don't know in case change drive right so it's just gonna go all the way through trying to find a place it can go through but it can't because none of these are meant for that which will then go up here launched up here sweet and now it's just gonna have there's gonna be a, sn a snake pattern 
going through different types of um, shelves, I would say, I would call them. And in each of those shelves, there would be different, or there'll be chests of different uh, items of that category. Jeez, I can't talk. So I've done some building off camera, <laughs> and that you would expect to me expect me to be like completed with my entire base. I would have like a giant castle somewhere, but no, I've only made these uh, shelves, and I'm pretty happy about them. Like I put some spaces in between, so that you're kind. Of, it's like an aisle sort of. So let me give let me give you a little tour. So I didn't want to have random torches lying around, so instead I put them underneath these sails. Yeah, these sails. So, because they're still transparent, but they they just kind of covered up. And it, I guess it kind of fits, I'm not sure. And tell me what you guys think. Yeah, hello, it's me, uh, Sai Sai Mahler. And, okay, so I've, I've uh, worked a little bit on it. So instead of making it loom around, I'm gonna have it so that there's one main belt going down. And then on each of these uh, shelves, I'm gonna have these tunnels, right? And then they're gonna have these filters on them. So I don't necessarily have to waste a bunch of funnels, right? So I can just have a filter set up right there and it's just gonna pass down here and then these are gonna have like, just random insight funnels or what? Yeah, insight funnels, which are then gonna siphon through chests and then until it reaches the end, it's just gonna fill up. And if it does, I don't, to be honest, I don't feel like it's gonna fill up. These are gonna like be like small items, so they're highly unlikely. But you know, there's always a chance. And then once all of these are filled up, let's say, or like none of the items actually fit into these categories, it's going to be sent to these two random chest sections. So they're going to have these three sta uh, three sections right here. Or no, sorry, three double chests. I could probably make it six. Anyways, these are going to have all the random items. Hey, yo, so I started or, or I've um, changed a little bit of this. So instead of making the collection system right here in the center, I've made all of these go down one conveyor belt into this chute, which is then gonna follow this track over here onto this depot. And what you see here is, I mean, it's it's the, I can't talk. It's the place where you put the buttons in, or it's, it's the place where you call for the item. So let's say we wanted a, a 64, or a stack of wood, right? So one of these buttons will have an item frame on, behind it which will have the picture of wood, or it'll just have a wood item in it. And then you'll just click it, and then it'll just come all the way over here. Hey guys, so I set up the wall, or my uh, storage system type thing. So we have each of these blocks in like an item frame, and behind these, I've set up all these frequencies. This took forever, I wanted to die. But it's done, and now we can continue, or we can get started on um, organizing everything. Here goes nothing. I don't even know where the leaves are supposed to go. Oh, so it's right here. Sweet. So now it should be siphoning in through here, right? Something's not right. It looks really ugly, but uh, I guess it's the, it's the best thing I could do because I wanted to get like a single pulse coming out of these observers. And unfortunately, it wouldn't do that. Like when I did the I did the button, it would be three ticks. I think that's how it works. I don't know. But anyways, there's it was long enough to uh, give or t give out three items per click. So I didn't want that. So I just uh, shortened it up, and I think that it turned out okay. I'll um, if you guys have any suggestions for the wall, just please let me know. But um, I, I I don't know. I'm very unorganized right now. I'm be I this is taking longer than I expected, and I I'm thinking maybe for this Friday I would work uh, on the live stream, work on the exterior of this. But now we're done with that. I'm gonna start work on the shadow steel. So what do I need for this andesite machine? Not, no, not andesite. This shadow steel machine. Well, I'm gonna try to put the link, not a link, but like there's a. I'm gonna try to put some type of a. Uh, card on the top right that's the link to go to my shadow steel uh, shadow shadow steel maker wait i just realized why did i use brass funnels i could have just used andesite funnels and that would have been perfect oh my gosh and then if i just collect it boom nice all right to the bat cave Doo -doo 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 -doo. so apparently I mean, what I record on is Streamlabs, and apparently for Streamlabs, there's this um, or this app, or like a stream deck almost. And 
I just hooked up my phone and it's working. That's actually really cool. Now I don't have to always click off the screen, you know? That's cool. Anyways, we're down in our minds and this is gonna be where the lab's gonna be. So with a little bit of editing magic, I'm gonna just mine out this area so that there's at least like I think four blocks. Um that's good here. Three, two, one, boom. So I've dug out a good chunk. Uh, did, sadly, didn't get much diamonds. I did get a lot of uh, cobblestone and diorite and andesite. But that's not the main point of this video. Or the main point of this mining session. What I'm here for is just this empty space. So what I need to do, I need to get some rails. And I believe that if I just place this, oh crap, right here like on the on top of here then it should work hold up let me go check something real quick so with the limited resources i have this is actually the right height so at y level five it should work just fine so i'm planning on probably just doing something like this so i have limestone bricks coming up like that uh i think nine of these wait three four five six seven eight nine there we go nine of those and then i have some controller rails just face them this way and set this on in the center and then this should work so if i place my minecart contraption like this not what i'm looking for all right let's let's try this out oh please will that affect it i don't know but that looks pretty good so i'm gonna get a couple of chromatic compounds and see if this actually works all right with some compound Compound chromatic, oh my gosh, chromatic compound in hand. Let's just hope that this works. And now, let's do this. Place this bad boy down. And a chromatic, com or sh a shadow steel should have been placed down. Oh! Do you see that? It's working. Okay. Here's the big moment of truth. Do I get... Shadow steel. If I get at least two, that's great. Cause you know why? That means I can make shadow steel casing, and that's probably gonna be the first ones in our world. All right, let's do. It. Let's do a big check. Let's do a big, big reveal. Gender reveal real party. All right, you ready? Yes! Yes! We have two shadow steel. That's big. Wait a second. How many did I start with again? I forget. No bueno, no Siri. I don't have my weapons. There we go! Alright, I'm gonna move this all to some other place. Probably not here. This isn't a suitable spot for the Shadow Steel Gang, you know what I mean? I have no food. Oh, actually, hold, hold up, hold up. This is a perfect time to try out my new food system, okay? So, you see that I'm hungry, because that, that means I have no food. Those of you who don't know what hunger means, but it's okay. So watch and learn, boys. Oh, just like that, a stack of chocolate. Coming to meet my needs. That's sweet. The first four shadow steels casing right here. And then, hold up, let me go over here real quick. There we go. I moved all the stuff here. So we got the shadow steel flooring. Probably gonna change most of this to shadow steel, you know? That'd be sweet. So I know that, oh yeah. So I know that we didn't get go over too much this time. Uh, actually no, today's episode was a bit janky. It's just because like, I'm really busy with a bunch of stuff. I think in the uh, in the time lapse, I, uh, I talked about something going on. So if you guys missed that, well, I'm pretty busy this week. So I won't be live streaming on Friday or making a video next week but actually no i no not next week but I'll, I'll be live streaming next week next week no video but live stream so i'm sorry but yeah I, I i gotta i gotta do well on this test or else i'll be disowned anyways if you guys enjoyed thank you for watching and uh, subscribe if you enjoyed goodbye